This is a stressful time. A few months ago, we hadn't heard of COVID-19. And now coronavirus is everywhere, in our communities, in the media, in our thoughts. And we are facing stress from all angles. It is completely normal to feel stressed, anxious and sad right now, something we are all sharing. We're all feeling isolated, overwhelmed and worried about the future all at once. And we not only worry about ourselves and our families, but about people we don't even know. Because we're social animals, we can't help it. When we hear about bad things happening to others, we feel stress and anxiety too. A certain level of anxiety is a good thing and actually important for our survival. We are born with an instinct to protect ourselves whenever we feel threatened. And the coronavirus is a threat. So stress and anxiety motivate us to do the things that we need to do to take care of ourselves, like staying at home and physically distancing. But too much anxiety and stress can lead to symptoms like a racing heart or feeling jumpy or irritated or easily annoyed, perhaps feeling down and having difficulty getting going, or even panic attacks. While we each may deal with situations differently, there are some proven strategies for coping with stress and anxiety. I've spent decades studying anxiety and ways to manage it. So here are five strategies to help you cope with the stress and anxiety during COVID-19. First, stay connected. Social connection is powerful and one of our most basic ways of coping with stress and anxiety. And remember, physical distancing does not mean social isolation. So when you're feeling alone, reach out by phone or by apps. Maybe meet a friend over a virtual dinner or play a game with your family online. Second, focus on the things that you can control. Because having a sense of control, particularly in a context of uncertainty like the one we face, can help reduce stress and anxiety. So think about the things that you can do and make a list. For example, take care of your health. Develop a daily schedule. Make an attempt to do something physical every day and think about things that you could do to help you grow or feel joy. Third, do things to calm the physical stress response, which may well be in overdrive. Things like exercise or yoga or meditation or slow breathing. And I'd recommend that you do those regularly and not just at the point at which you're highly stressed. Fourth, Put a limit on the amount of time that you spend listening to or reading the news about the coronavirus. It's important to keep a balance between being informed and being overwhelmed. So when you're about to click the next story or the next video, just pause, ask yourself, do I really need to know this or is it already too much? And finally, practice giving and receiving kindness. Be kind to a roommate. Reach out to a friend who may be lonely. Offer to help a local cause. My research has shown that these acts of kindness not only make us feel better, but they reduce stress and anxiety. And there's a bonus. When we show kindness to others, there's a ripple effect so that they are more likely to show kindness to the next person. And that's a positive because we all need to help each other in this situation. Humans are amazing and our bodies are built to handle stress. And our history shows the resilience that we have to adapt to even massive changes. So by using these coping strategies, supporting each other, seeking professional help when needed, we can learn to navigate this situation and even thrive in this most challenging set of conditions. This is a new reality for all of us. As a service to the community and in response to requests for help, the UCLA Depression Grand Challenge is now sharing content online to help you cope 
with anxiety and depression during COVID-19. We really hope this is a valuable resource and we will be adding new content all the time. So please regularly check the website for updates.